Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Now, make sure to stick at the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power of 5 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. And a to the power of m times n, m and n are interchangeable, meaning this could also equal a to the power of n times m. And if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then this means that a to the power of n times m this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, we could think of x to the power of 5 as m and 5 as n. So if I switch those two places, I get x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now 100, I can rewrite as 10 to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 2 times 5, which is the same thing as 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x to the power of 5 is equal to 10. Now I'm going to take the fifth root on both sides. Then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x is equal to fifth root of 10. So this is my answer. Alright, so I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of 2. So now these two are going to cancel out and now I'm going to be left with x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, x to the power of x over x to the power of 2, that's going to equal x to the power of x minus 2, which is equal to 1. Now I'm going to take the natural log, or ln, on both sides. So now I have ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln 1. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times ln a. So in this case, for ln x to the power of x minus 2, I can move x minus 2 to the front. So this would equal x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. So now, ln1, this is actually equal to 0. So now I have x minus 2 times ln x is equal to 0. So now this is going to give me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I also have ln x is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, all I have to do is simply add 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to 0 plus 2, which is 2. So this is one solution. Now for ln x is equal to 0, I'm going to e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of 0. Now e to the power of ln x, the e and ln are going to cancel out, so now I'm left with x is equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. So my two solutions are x equals 2 and x equals 1. So now to check, my equation is x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. 
So my first solution is x equals 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So I have 4 is equal to 4. This is right. Now my second solution is 1. So now I have 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 1 is 1. And 1 to the power of 2 is also 1. So these two are right as well. So both my solutions are right. All right. So I have x to the power of 4 is equal to 10,000. So I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of 4 is equal to 10,000. Now, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 10,000 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm going to be left with x to the power of 4 minus 10,000 is equal to 0. Now, x to the power of 4, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 times 2, because 4 is equal to 2 times 2. And 10,000, I can rewrite as 100 squared. Now, let's equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of m. So in this case, x to the power of 2 times 2 can write as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So I have this minus 100 squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 100. So now I have x squared plus 100 times x squared minus 100, and this is equal to 0. So now this is going to give me two equations. I have x squared plus 100 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 100 is equal to 0. All right, so first off, for x squared plus 100 equals 0, I'm going to first start by subtracting 100 on both sides. So now these two are going to cancel out, and now I'll be left with x squared is equal to negative 100. Now, I want to cancel out this power of 2, so I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So now I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 100. Now, the square root of negative 100, well, first off, the square root of x squared, these two simply cancel out. So I'm totally off with x is equal to, now the square root of negative 100, this is the same thing as the square root of 100 times the square root of negative 1. Now, if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. And the square root of 100, that's equal to positive or negative 10. So I have x is equal to positive or negative 10i. So this is, these are two of my solutions. So now for x squared minus 100 equals 0, I'm going to first start by adding 100 on both sides so that these two cancel out. Now I'll be left with x squared is equal to 100. Now I'm going to take the square root on both sides. These two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to the square root of 100, which is equal to positive or negative 10. So my four solutions to this problem are x equals 10, x equals negative 10, x equals 10i, and x equals negative 10i. So these are my solutions.